Now, it's referred to as the Great War. World War I lasted four years and was largely fought between European powers. This Sunday will mark a hundred years since the end of that conflict. But what is rarely ever discussed is the deployment of hundreds and thousands of Africans, not only on European battlefields, but at home in a battle for power over African colonies. Sophie Kenya now reports. This Sunday will mark 100 years since the end of World War I. Millions died in what became known as the Great War. One of those who took up arms and fought on behalf of the British was Ghanaian Al Haji Grunchi. He joined the Gold Coast Regiment and um, went to Togo at the beginning of the First World War. Togo was then um, part of the German um, Empire and that's where the first shot of the First World War um, was, according to legend, fired. Um, he then served um, with distinction in the Gold Coast Regiment and went to the East Africa, was in the East Africa campaign. Corporal Grunchi was one of the estimated two million Africans from across the continent who fought for the European colonies on both sides of the conflict. Some soldiers were forced to fight members of their own families on the battlefield because of the way borders were drawn up. These troops have received little recognition for their contributions to the war. But now a tribute has been set up in London. Well, the medals are based on ancient Ghanaian symbols, the Adinkra symbols. They contain the crescent moon, um, the star, um, the circle, which is, which is symbolic of greatness in Ghanaian tradition. And of course the medal is, is signed, it's uh, pure, pure gold, almost pure gold, 22 carat. The First World War affected many across Africa and at least a million lives were lost. We put in our lives for this nation. We laid down our lives and fought for this nation, defended the nation. Why, why not actually uh, we sacrifice. Why not actually uh, honor us? It may have been a war of Europe's making, but African soldiers fought and died. Now many believe they deserve to be remembered for their sacrifice, as the world marks 100 years since the guns fell silent on the 11th of November 1918. Sophie Ikenye, BBC News.